Okay. That was brought well. That that as you can see there's um there's some bad values there, right? Oh no, that's a variance. Yeah, there's some bad values in there, okay? So uh, values up up around here that are bad, okay? So the data fold that you've got is not good, okay? What is the acceptable values we we can accept? Well, well no, they, it'll it'll show those values, but they're bad values. Mm -hmm. The data's not QC properly, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. So that data file is not a good data file from the QC. Mm -hmm. It's just raw, okay? It's very raw, okay? You 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 know uh, in in uh, Gina, I was going through the process of removing all the bad data. Okay, if you don't do that, the data's going to be shit. Okay, mm -hmm. right. So, look, you'll see. Okay, so we, let's grid it. This is um, line spacing. What, fifty meter? Fifty meter yeah, line. Fifty meters. Okay, so just put in twenty up there. Twenty, yeah. And and for the this one, it might exit it. Actually, it doesn't um, uh, automatically. Calculate yeah. automatically. Now, search radius. So, search so radius. where it ends. So that's one line here, mm -hmm. and another line here. Mm -hmm. um, search radius. So if that's fifty meters, mm -hmm. okay, you can you can get a search radius of of fifty meters. So it's this this one. You see that? I know what I do. So do a search radius. Radius, or say 60 meters, mm -hmm. that'll be a little bit bigger. Um, this is the okay, so look for any point there to interpolate at that point. When it moves here, it does the same, okay? So this is 20 meter uh, search. Mm -hmm. So the next point will be also searching 60 meters from there, the next one. Mm -hmm. Look like that, that's how it's doing. Same in X and Y. Okay. Uh, so okay, that's all right. Give it give it the grid name something. So it's calling it. It's automatically calling it mag. Do you see mag grid? Just put um because we're doing the the, the mag here. Just uh, TMI. Oh, no, we we'll do that. TMI. This is the TMI, right? Yeah, total, mode, total magnetic intensity. Okay, uh, format. You can pick which format. So, gonna do um, yes, binary. It's okay. Yep. Um, you can now. You can do these options, which will make it kind of nicer looking. Um, to what I normally do. So make that four. This yep. is sub selling. Yep, four and four. What's the, what's the four mean? I'll try to just do it first. Four. Right. Yeah. If if, if we do a 20 meter, right? you get 20 meter, 20 meter, 20 meter cells, right? Mm -hmm. Very blocky. Okay? It's a blocky. Right? If you do sub cell, it's going to break that into four. Right? Mm -hmm. It's actually going to be more than that. So, yeah, I see. sub cell uh, output points per cell. Yeah, so it's going to four. So it's basically. Mm -hmm. um, okay? yeah. So you could go to eight, it'll make it. So what it's doing is it's, it's making the doing the um, minimum curvature reading. That's the name of the algorithm, minimum curvature. Mm -hmm. um, so it's doing that to work out these 20 ones, but then the full one is breaking them up further. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey. I don't have any particular thought, okay? <laughs> okay, let me just ask. <laughs> so, I've okay. had trouble with the team this morning.
the image you get because people see the images and they go, oh, but if they see big blocky image because the cell size is too big, it doesn't look too good, okay? So you can use that, that feature to make it better, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you can also, with this one, you can also um, grid all the fields. So, oh, no. Where's that for me? I can't see now. Grid all fields, so you can go there and it'll it'll grid everything. So the grid elevation, blah blah blah. Okay, it'll do all that at once. So let's try that. Okay, we do that. Uh, see so grid data now. Right. So now if you look, if you look on the folder. So it see it's made elevation and mag at the same time. Okay, because you did that one right here. Okay. So done. Comes back to here. Let's just turn these off at the moment. You don't want to see them mm -hmm. when you bring them up. Um, done. Display, it'll display where the points are. See, there's body points in there, right? Wow. This is not clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this is <coughs> raw data, okay? Yeah, this is raw data. Because we not delete the bad data yet. Well, that's, you know, what you do in the field and what I do is totally different, okay? Um, I... I take all the data and I clean it, okay? Mm -hmm. So I put it into Gino and remove all the bad uh -huh. myself and see. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I can try to remove this this uh, uh, unnecessary point in the pack. I, I, I can. But it's a slow. Slow. Gino, I don't know how especially to do it. You yeah. also make them into lines. So you don't do that either. Yeah, tell, know, tell me. I, that's the whole point. You know, that's what you think. Oh, I can do, I can do. Well, yeah, you do it, but you do shit, okay? Yeah, so, yes. <laughs> so, I'm trying to be nasty, but yeah. it's true. Okay, let's have a look here. So, press escape, escape, es escape. No, no, no. no. Yeah, escape, right? It'll stop. Mm -hmm. So, you can stop it while it's doing it, okay? Yeah. Now, uh, where are we? Up here. We go to utilities, uh, no, here, sorry, uh, edit, we go to images. This is where we import an image. So let's bring in the mag. Okay. Now we've got a couple of different ones here. We've got sun illumination of color. It comes up with standard. But let's just go straight to color, just do color. And uh, here we're doing histogram. So this will linear histogram or log. This is the way that it, it, it deals with the uh, with the data histogram and splits up the colors. So display the histogram, there you go, you can see everything, but it's going up to 70,000, right? So that's a crazy number. Mm -hmm. So, But the histogram will sort that. So this red is effectively showing how it's distributing it. Uh, no, it's a cumulative, that's a cumulative, sorry. Okay, so let's just, from that, that's all we do. And then display. Mm -hmm. Right? So you can see, it looks like shit, you know, because <laughs> it's got <laughs> shit data. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, um, this is the, the, the one that was done at, um, at, to give you an example of what the good data looks like. Um, it's going because I finished the report yesterday, I guess. Uh, yeah, these are. And we've labeled it as well. Um, Done here, like uh, if I can come see. So it's an early image. Um, uh, an earlier image I might have here. I'm not sure. No, I think I've deleted it. Oh wait, okay. we'll do this. Okay. Green. Oh, 
I'll show you. Try, that's enough. Try the one. Okay, see the problems with it. Okay, I've not read most of the problems, but you can see the key to that. The problem, there's a problem with this one. Um, it's all not fixed. Um, so we get the top lines. I gave all that data uh, to uh, another guy. He did the leveling, okay? So I, I can do leveling. Not very good, okay? This was done in. Uh, Let's just look at strike derivatives. Um, third group derivative. Um, in the data, well, not least in the data, but point it out. In there, of course. And there's no reduction of the coal down on it. Uh, basically. Maximum so value minimum or minimum maximum. Hmm? Oh, because he's taken off the I do 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 Taken off forty thousand, so I'm taking off the forty thousand. So you can see the range is going from four thousand up to four thousand two hundred. So it's not not that not not um, strong, but it's not um it's not magnetite stuff in it. So there's um Um, so, that's, so, you know, first, there's to get the data clean. It's not much, in, in Windows, it's not, um, you, you can't, you can't easily clean up the data. Mm -hmm. You have to do an external. Mm -hmm. So, um, so let me show you what I, I've done. Um, it's in our GDN. Um, 